Hi everyone, I've come across to the other side, uh, there's proactive open arms there. Um, you can see how choppy the water is, you know, you can, it's fairly choppy, you know, here, there's, a, there's quite a swell here as well, but you know, they're not even allowed the protection of the port, uh, because the port is evidently very full. Um, according to the port authorities um, so this is the port very full you know you have one boat there and nothing all the way through there even the Turkish uh, ferries not in this morning nothing all the way through there in here. and plus the inner port over there there's quite a lot of space as well um, You know, this is incredible, absolutely incredible. This is all because they have humanitarian aid on board. I wonder what would happen if we got a typhoon come in. Are they still going to sit in their offices and say, leave them out there? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. You know, they were offered a berth four days ago, but it was far too shallow. Uh, that, I would have said, was deliberate as well. Um, <clears throat> I really don't know. The, this should never happen anywhere inside Europe, and this should never happen on this island of so-called solidarity. As I said, you know, what's been going on on this island has not really been reported that much. I've screamed and shouted about some of the abuses, but there's a lot going on here that's not really been reported. Um, and it's time it stopped. You know, as I said, these guys are heroes, the amount of people they rescued and everything else. And if it wasn't for these guys on this boat, it wasn't for a proactive open arms team, the amount of bodies up in the north would have been horrendous because they saved thousands of lives, you know? And when you look at it that way, you know, uh, it, sorry, when you look at it that way, uh, if there was that amount of bodies washing up on the beaches, there were bodies on the beaches, but if there was that amount of bodies washing up on the beaches, you know, the tourist industry would have collapsed completely. Yeah. So these boys done you a bloody good job on this island by rescuing all these lives. Yeah. And this is the way you treat them. I mean, that is so disgusting, it's unbelievable. And that's happened here time and time again. You know, you have all these people coming in with big hearts, helping and everything else, and all they do is get abused by the authorities. Um, this is so so wrong it's so so wrong because it's in within Europe as well you know as I said before many times Europe is meant to be a civilized place and for these authorities to abuse humanitarians is, is incredible the authorities all throughout Europe to abuse refugees is incredible yeah. <coughs> so uh, something has gone very very wrong something stinks very bad within Europe in the last four years and it needs to be dealt with big time really does okay i shut this down as you can see you know even over there now we have a small yacht has come in look he's allowed in a little white yacht there um <laughs> i don't know but you know as you can see the the harbor is absolutely chock-a-bock with boats <laughs> You know, there's nothing out here. One boat over there. You know, all the empty moorings is incredible. Yeah, and yet they're leaving this boat out here because it has humanitarian aid on, and we're inside Europe. That is so disgusting. It's unbelievable. All the best, everyone.